All right, here's the update on the old Camaro. First thing before we get started, I wanna I wanna let everybody know that I I love to watch your videos, pretty awesome. But some of you say a little bit too much cussing for me, and I I just really can't stand to watch that. So if you could please just watch your language a little bit, because I love the videos. I mean they're cool. Anyhow, here's a. Here it is. I put. I went ahead and put the front cap on it, so so I could get cranked up on some other stuff besides that back end. You stay on one thing too long, and it kind of burn you out. But uh, I welded some patches right here and kind of got them, you know, filled in with some bondo. Some people don't like to use bondo, but bondo is bondo. They they like to call it body filler. Whatever, it's bondo. And I welded the patch in here and got it ready. This here, I put some etching primer on it, but apparently I didn't put it thick enough. It's got some surface rust on it. I've got to go ahead and sandblast this and get it in some epoxy primer soon. As soon as I can afford it, but stuff's expensive, so just kind of doing a little bit at a time. This here's in etching primer and it's in good shape. I put like three coats on it, so it's all right. It's been sitting out there all summer. There's the front cap. Hood sitting right over here. It's in real good shape. I would like to use, you know, a cal induction hood like Mark's got on his. Oh, Bertha. But I, it bothers me whenever I, it kind of gets in my line of vision and, and that kind of bothers me. So anyhow, that's why I'm going sticking with the hood. I've the factory hood. I've got a lot of work done today. I've been working since about eight o'clock this morning. Saturday's my only day to work, except after work, and that kind of gets old. Y'all know how that goes. But we got lines starting to look better. A little here, a little there. I need to get me some. I got this stuff called Dolphin Glaze, and it's really, really good. And it's only like. Ten, eleven dollars for a little tube. I got to get some of that and go to finishing it out. I didn't do anything to the back end, but see right here, Mark. I got a question for you. These, when I bought this car, it didn't have hood or uh, trunk hinges. This is all it was. So, can you buy just the hinges and or off eBay or whatever and and put them together, or do you have to cut them out right here? And then weld this whole thing on there. That's just a question. I know you've probably done them before. If you got any ideas, let me know. I've looked them up, you know, to buy replacement hinges, and I can't find them nowhere. So it's kind of got me wondering about it. But it tickles me to see it coming together. I mean, this is starting to smooth out. It don't really look like it, but it is getting a lot better. And you don't think that there's a lot of work required, but man, I've been on this thing all day. And yeah, Mark, you're right, right here, drip rail. <laughs> Definitely got to fab some metal. I, I, I welded up a few patches, then I got to digging in a little deeper and found out. Not looking good for the home team right there. A lot cooler today here in West Tennessee. So that made a good day for work. That heat was about to get to me. So here we are. I'm excited because the front, I put the, I just got the front cap sitting on there, but I'm excited about it. And it kind of you know gives me a little bit of get up and go momentum, help me to move instead of sitting in one place. Got a long ways to go, and I would say a short time to get there, but. It don't really matter how long it, it takes. I want to make it as nice as I possibly can. I, I originally figured this, this would be a two year project, but mm, I'm looking toward five, especially with gas, $3 and 30 cents a gallon. Well, anyhow, um, if, if y'all could please watch the cussing, I'd, I'd really like to watch your videos. Some people had to, I subscribed to just to watch them, and then I had to unsubscribe because of the profanity and all that. I live for Jesus, so, I mean, it kind of, it just kind of disturbs me. So, if, 
If you don't mind, please watch that. And if you don't care, I understand too. These right here were already painted whenever I got it, but I'm going to take them back off and probably sandblast them. Um, I'm guessing we're going with vintage air, but man, $1,300. Woo! And then putting it in. Who knows what's going to happen. I need to buy me another parts car, but it's kind of hard sometimes. Anyhow, we'll see you later. Thank you.